it's definitely been a pain and made my life harder than it otherwise would have been to be who I am. But obviously, that's the most important thing, to be who I am. My name is Noah Robertson and I'm transgender. I was born like with my sex assigned as female, which ended up kind of dictating a lot of my life and dictates a lot of kind of everybody's life. And for me that wasn't the truth, that wasn't what I actually was. I felt that it made sense that I was something different than what I thought I was. Honestly, when I first kind of started learning about what it meant to be transgender, I thought that was really, really weird. I was like, that sounds ridiculous and strange and uncomfortable and gross, and I could never be anything but female, definitely. And I think even then I knew that something was different, like that, that was more me than I wanted to admit, and so I denied it. I met other people who were like me, who were questioning their genders or were questioning their sexualities and were looking for answers. One of the reasons I'm okay today that there's LGBT communities that have helped me and that have been there to support me. My school was really accepting and that was really nice, obviously, to be told that you're brave and that you're supported. I didn't feel brave, I felt kind of scared but also happy. With my parents, it was, and still is, it's still definitely a process, it's definitely more of a roller coaster because I came out to them and it was fine and they were fine. But I found out over time that they weren't, that it just kind of looked like it. And nothing changed for a really long time, which was fine. But when I started asking for change, that's where I realized that what I had thought was fine was just them being okay with a phase. They didn't think it was real. They don't think it's real. And that's definitely probably the hardest part right now of being who I am. They, I can't do anything about it. It felt like a reminder of me being wrong. I wasn't what I should be, whether that's I'm trans and I shouldn't be, or I'm a man and I don't look like it. Being trans is a lot. It's a lot of change and it affects almost all parts of my life. And it makes a lot of things a little more complicated and just a little more confusing and just a little more scary. I'm nowhere near the end of figuring all my stuff out for sure, but I'm definitely, you know, I'm definitely working on it. And that's okay because I'm going through it with good people and people who care and people who are trying and I'm grateful for that and I'll, I'll be okay.